Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing. Today with set number two, Changing Diva. And yeah, this set has some some cards I could need for my collection. There's like a MC Lion assist <clears throat> I want to build a deck with. She's pretty pretty strong in my opinion in, in a defensive way. And there's also a peace card named Zeno Cluster. Zeno Cluster, I think. Uh, which is probably like the the most expensive from from the regular cards also because she's very playable But yeah, we get like one promo pack I don't know if it's like always the same promo. It's never give up dr. Dr. Out of focus. No, dr. Tamago Very cute. I like this I don't know this disco style foiling like it gives me always the vibes of uh, disco lights very cool i don't know if the, the foiling has a special name but this is just the way i call it always and yes from the from the sr cards there are quite some some playable cards too and because yeah when i now i don't know at the time i record this i haven't opened one box i will be opening one in my in my live stream but yeah so far i need basically like everything and yeah but of course like there are two oh that's cute but that's a weird artwork there are like these uh, kitties like a tiger and a lion cup and then there's like a street around her that's so weird but yeah there are phalaris she's a black signy who melts when she uh, vanishes. I think it was vanishing the opponent's Signy. Yeah, but we got the first as our, uh, it's a queen one, level three. When this Signy is vanished, you may put the Signy from your inner zone onto the bottom of your deck. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card, okay, if that card is a level three Signy, you may put that Signy onto your field downed. So basically you have to combine this with like uh, white colored cards, which can uh, yeah, look at your deck and maybe put some cards on top of your deck. There are also, I think, like some blue cards that have this effect. But hmm, not so, not so great in my opinion. Maybe you can build here. But yeah, at the end of your turn, add up to one target Signy from your inner zone to your hand. That's not bad. And she also has like a life uh, life burst effect. Uh, vanish target Signy on your opponent's field with power six, uh, uh, 7,000 or more, which isn't bad. But yeah, the, the first effect doesn't sound really like it comes often to play. Uh, level three. Okay, in the center she has 15,000. That's not bad, but... Besides that, she has no effect. MC Lion Dope. Uh, have I pulled a... Man, I didn't look into it. What was my assist in the first pack? Okay, it was DJ Lovett. And Akino. But yeah, we've got like a MC Lion. Dope. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may add up to one card from among them to hand. And put up to two Signy from among them onto your field. Okay. I was a little bit confused how why this effect is so strong, but she is quite expensive for like five Anna. Okay. But yeah, we've got a Tamago Jet Stick. Down target Signy. We can grow her on the opponent's field, that's nice. And we can draw okay, that's not even that doesn't sound bad. Attack phase. For zero, so you basically just Draw two cards for one Anna. Oh, and another. I think she, she has a really like cute character design in this, like uh, monster one C. Like I don't know, it's very cool. I don't know like the backstory or like the lore of the character, but it's kind of cute. Uh, we've got a Jade Angel, Nyx Doomed Angel. Okay, I like her her hair design. Uh, tree froggy so just 10k 
Ah, okay, a lot of like birds characters now. Musica, Dolphin. Put the top two cards of your deck into your trash. Then add two target non-colorless Signy from your trash that do not a share color to your hand. So you cannot get a, a guard back because guards are colorless. But yeah, self-mill and getting something back. Akino. I like the her her art for this for this card, but so what is she doing? Constant. During your opponent's turn, Signy in your center Signy zone get 2000 power. So only one. When she enters, you draw a card and Ena charge one. And her once per game is down to up level 2 Elrix. You may discard a card with a G. If you do, return up to two target Signy on your opponent's field to their owner's hand. Okay, so you cannot use this like defensively because the action once per game, you can only do it in your own main phase. Uh, so it's like a lane opener. Hmm. So not really bad, but I, I, I think there are like some white Elrics which are more aggressive or doing maybe things better. But in general, I'm, I think she is like quite nice. Uh, white better, aquatic beast. Thought she she looks like an angel. It's not. Hecate, yeah. So there's a fun story because Hecate is uh, actually an Egyptian god. So I, I put this into my Egypt binder. I have this card already from the, from the starter decks, but I need them for playing, so I couldn't take them out of the starter decks. But yeah, Hecate is like a. Very common god in ancient Egypt. Oh, a secret rare, Madoka. Uh, probably like the, the big hit for the box. I think she was one of the... From, uh, yeah, the lower secret rares. Uh, but none of the secret rares are like really expensive, I think. Uh, when your opponent discards a card, by your effect, draw a card or an... Okay. I like this. There are a lot of like discard effects or archetypes. So the enter effect is draw three cards and discard two. Discarding only one card would have been really cool. Now maybe the auto effect that it only triggers one per turn. Return target level one diagram Elric on your field to your Elric deck. Hmm. I don't really understand how to navigate the, the game per once effect. Return target level 1, Elric on your field to your Elric deck. But why? I have questions. I have to ask someone who knows more about uh, the game. Why should you... Or can you like play the no you cannot play the level one again on top of the level two, right? So it's just like a way so when you haven't evolved your or grow your assist into level two, you can get it back onto the hand in the late game, and then you get an another time like the enter effect. But for this to happen you yeah, you cannot uh, grow into level two. That's yes, 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 yes. It's Xeno cluster. Finally, I'm lucky. Like in the past boxes that I that I've opened for cards I needed for decks, I wasn't that really lucky. Like there were like some SR cards I want. I really wanted for my deck, <clears throat> like the Fenrir from Glowing Diva. I didn't pull her, and yeah, the Xeno cluster. The I think it's the the most expensive piece from this set. I think she, it's like the very, very much playable, but yeah. Uh, doesn't matter how expensive it is. It's, I just wanted this card to, to play with it. So that's awesome. Really, really cool. I should get uh, a second piece. Hamster. Okay. Kiana on stage. Vanish target level two or less signal on your opponent's field. Okay. Main phase. Cost nothing. 
That's okay. Uh, Dorado, natural planet. Oh, I like the, the life burst effect. Uh, there is like a, a level 2 Signy in the blue deck, which has a life burst effect of like downing. Downing two Signies and draw a card, which is like very great in defensive way. <clears throat> but this would be kind of nice for for the uh, discard decks maybe. But of course, uh, discard decks always struggle with uh, like staying alive, so you need defensive tools too. So I would probably play the defense life cloth effect more than this one. But okay, uh, DJ Lovett third verse. She has action tap. If your opponent's center rig is level three or more, put target card from that player's inner zone into their trash. So yeah, that, but then she cannot attack. Of course, if you have tapped her down. Vanish target seeking on your opponent's field is her enter effect and action one per game. This Elric gains down and up level two Elric up this. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, but only until end of turn. Okay. Yeah. So you can, once you can uh, down her to Anna, burn or destroy, and then up her again with your assist Elric. Not, not that great, I would say. Oh, what's that? What's that? Gothic emo girl. E phone. That's cool. I like the art. I always really like even like the the lower signies in these parallel uh foiling, they look so great. Really love them. Uh Kamigin, Doomed Evil. Oh she only has like 1k? Don't really remember seeing a Signy with 1k. Usually they start like with 2k, but 1k is very small. Uh, Musica sp splits. Okay, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 10,000 power, and you can play her in the opponent's attack phase. She costs one, and for four and her target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 8,000. And the second effect is a bit expensive. Not that bad. Another SR. I, if I cannot pull the Phalaris, I'm okay. Because the Phalaris Signy, the SR Signy, the black one that mills, is also like in the in one of the starter decks. Uh, which is yeah, quite nice. But there's like the blue SR, the ZR02 natural element queen. And she's not. You cannot get her from the from the deck. So I really want this this blue SR. Please. I know I, I got the Xeno cluster, so I basically am not allowed to, to complain. Oh, but I also was looking for this MC Lion, I think. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Signy that shares a color with your center Elric, and up to one Signy that shares a color with the Elric that is not your center. Yeah. So she digs uh, yeah, five cards deep into your deck. Yeah, I think this was the one that I wanted. Um, but I, but I want the the disrespect. This is uh, the level two assist I need still. But this is the card I talked about. Man, you just have to be greedy. If I have learned one thing in life from all the the fancy people on the internet and yeah on YouTube, you just have to be greedy, and life will reward you with everything. That's like capitalism, baby. Capit whatever I said, capitalism. But yeah, we've got the natural element queen ZR02, the blue signy that I wanted. Let's uh, read the card. So she has harmony, one black Elric. That means when she enters the field, you have to down one of the black Elrics. So you basically have to play her like with black, or she she comes into play uh, down two. So. Whenever the Signy attacks, you may pay one colorless Anna. If you do, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 3000 power until end of turn. If your opponent has discarded two or more cards this turn, that Signy gets minus 8000 power until end of turn instead. So you play her like in a discard deck. And I want to build something like this, or I want to build the starter deck in a way that she fits in, I think. And yeah, she has an enter effect, enter one blue. Draw a card or your opponent discards a card at random. And the random uh, effect is pretty strong because uh, 
yeah, usually with the discard effect, like your opponent can choose which cards he want to get rid of. Of course, sometimes if he has only one or two cards in hand, he cannot choose because you get rid of his complete hand. But if he has a lot of cards in hand, and of course he doesn't want to uh, discard his guards, he wants the guards to protect himself. And you can, yeah, if you're lucky, you can get rid of the guards or like something important like a Signy. Uh, like a combo combo piece he wants to play with. So yeah, what? I am really, really happy like now. I I don't know what else. Like, the, of course, the the assist MC Lion would be great. But even if it's not in the box. Okay, here it comes. You just have to be greedy. Uh, MC Lion disrespect. She is a level 2 Elric assist. For cost 2, you can play her in the opponent's attack phase. That's why I want her. And she has the enter ability. Target Signy on your opponent's field gains. This Signy cannot attack until end of turn. Then she has another enter effect. But you have to pay with discarding 2 cards. Target Signy on your opponent's field gains. This Signy cannot attack until end of turn. And then if you have a lot of Ana uh, left and you don't know what to do, you can pay 1 white and 2 colorless. Target Signy on your opponent's field gains. This Signy cannot attack until end of turn. So if you have a lot of resources and you are close to dying, you can like shut down the, your opponent's complete Signy field. And yeah, that's why I wanted her because I struggle with staying alive sometimes, like we, we all do. But yeah, especially in V-Cross, I, I struggle. So I, I want her to build in my deck that I get into the late game and then finish my opponent. So yeah, man, that's this box gives me just everything, and this the Theno cluster card was really important for me, like yeah, and of course the the SR. So if if this box really wants to spoil me, like really, really wants to be nice, it's giving me like the Falaris too, and then I have like everything. But first we get uh, another piece, the second one, Illusions and Lightning. Uh, use conditions. You have a white Elric and a green Elric on your field. Uh, choose one of the following. Target Signy on your on, on your field gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. If it's your opponent's turn, Target Signy on your field gains shadow until end of turn. Okay. Hmm. So you can play it, of course, in the opponent's attack phase. For two colorless. I don't know. I'm not sold on this one. I think there are like better better pieces to, to play with. Of course, like Shadow is a nice effect to have. Especially Shadow, which uh, prevents everything. Like sometimes it's like Shadow, uh, Shadow Signy, so you, you your card cannot, oh, your card cannot get uh, targeted by Signies. Uh, sometimes it's like Elrix too, but yeah, Shadow in general, like, prevents uh, before targeting from, from everything. That's pretty nice. But still not, I don't know. It's not, like, super strong in my opinion. Oh, that's cool. Like a Kitsune. Nice. Esto. <laughs> Code art. Madoka. Okay, this is, like, the the same card, yeah, we pulled in the, in the Secret Rare. No. Ah, I was thinking because it's a, uh, it's a black Signy too. I was hoping it's Falaris. It's Valkyrie, Doomed Angel Queen. But what is she doing? Uh, whenever the Signy attacks, add target level one Angel Signy from your trash to your hand. When the Signy is vanished, you may discard two Angel Signies. If you do, put the Signy from your inner zone onto your field down. Yeah, Angel Tribal. Maybe together with white. I think white has quite some angels too. And her life burst effect is add target Signy without a G from your trash to your hand or put it onto your field. I don't know. She she fits in a very specific deck. I don't see myself building like a angel tribal deck to be honest. But if I do, this is a card for, for the deck I think. But yeah, Hecate is a, a very nice card. I've probably 
I will record or I have recorded a video about the starter decks because I really like them and uh, so far when I played with her she she did a great job especially in the beginning like I remember in one match I I got two in my starting hand and I was able to yeah when when she enters the field you can look at the top three cards and you can put them under the deck or uh, let like one or two cards still onto your deck so yeah I I looked at the top three cards and it was well, like really bad no guards nothing I wanted to play in the next turn so I put everything under my deck and then I played my second one and there was again nothing that I wanted to see no guards so yeah six cards uh, basically like three turns without additional card draw I prevented so yeah, and then I was able to draw quite a few guards back to back. So this, uh, yeah, the Hecate kept me alive for some time, which which is pretty useful. Akino, Bound for Brightness. And the s Code Coat Art. As long as there is a spell in your trash, the Signy gets plus 3000, which is yeah, it, not very big because there are like a lot of uh, level 2 Signies who have already 10k but she has like the special effect with the enter 3 3 red if there are 5 or more spells in your trash this Signy gains assassin until end of turn I don't really know at the moment how to value assassin Anna wise like how how expensive is it for other cards to give them assassin so I don't know really if it's like if it's worth it to play it, if like three, if three red Anna is like a good price to pay, or if it's a little bit more on the expensive side, I still have to to learn a bit, to be honest. Uh, spinning harmony, what a nice. At least even like for the, for the parallel faults, I think it's really like exciting and worth it to open, to open boxes for me. I really like the. The parallel foils. I hope at some point in the future, like uh, card market in the U uh, in Europe, they start to uh, to put V cross on their page too. I mean, they have ah, no, they have uh, Battle Spirit Saga and some other stuff which is like basically dead. So yeah, they should like they should give re recross the chance, and if there are like a lot of uh, sheep parallel foils, I would pick up a lot of them because they are just too good, too good looking. But yeah, this is the last pack from the box of a very, very lucky box for me. It could have ended with a Valaris, but let's be not too greedy. It's a beautiful artwork, really, really nice. I have to check if there are like any ancient Egyptian symbols on it. I don't think it is. Oh, what a piece of, of art. Let's read it, uh, the last card. Whenever the Signy attacks, reveal the top four cards of your deck. If there are three or more level one Signies among them, <laughs> until the end of your opponent's next end phase, the Signy gets plus 3000 power and gains Shadow Signy. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. At the beginning of your main phase, you may pay one white and one. Uh, one white. If you do return target signal on your opponent's field to its owner hand. So yeah, the second effect you can only activate when she lives through your opponent's field because uh, yeah, the beginning of main phase means that you she has to be on the field when you start your your turn. At least I understand her like this. Yeah. So she has to live like for one cycle. <laughs> But yeah, maybe in a in a white aqua deck with a lot of small signies. I don't know if I could see her in a deck, but yeah, let's end the video as always with a force of will pack. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.